Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Lisa Lashendro. I am one of the annuity sales directors here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to our VP over at North American, Austin. Austin, want to say hi real quick? Hey, how are you? Thank you, Lisa. Dandy. Okay, so Austin is going to be going over their revamped new and improved benefit solutions, one of the best income products out there in the industry right now. And I will challenge you to give me a case and prove it. Um, before I hand over the mic over to Austin, I do see we have quite the attendee list here, which is always a great sign. Um, a lot of new names here that I don't recognize and Welcome back to those of you that are already part of our IMS family and working with IMS. Um, this might be a good refresher for you to make sure you're taking full advantage of all the, the benefits you receive in being one of our uh, partners, agents, producers working with us. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and give you kind of a 10,000 foot view of, of some of the perks that you get working with us here. And then I will send the screen over to Austin and you'll get to hear the goods from him. With that, let's get going. So right out of the gate, when you contract with IMS, when you first get contracted with us in the first six months, whatever production that you acquire or you write with us, um, we'll put you at a, at a particular producer level. And when you work with us, you're gonna find out that we customize everything that we do to fit around your business. So some of you might be webinar people, some of you might be in-person, face-to-face people, some of you might be postcard people, or maybe social media people. Not all of you work the same. That's one of the things I love about my job is because um, I get to work with, you know, a completely different producer every, every time because not a single one of you work the same way. And I absolutely love that, sharing successful ideas, what's working, what's not working so much in the particular time of the year that we're in or what not, what's happening of life events or world events these days, I guess. Um, so these are just ideas that, um, that we will give you, you know, when you hit one of those production levels. So don't think that you're just limited to, you know, just getting $750 in cash at 100,000 or, um, you know, a seminar at 750,000. We'll definitely take the time and talk to you and make sure that we're making it to be beneficial to growing your business. So any questions on our new producer bonus, you just give me a holler. Also, I don't know who doesn't like a referral, um, but what we do here at IMS is we are going to continually pay you for those referrals because without you, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have had that business come through our door and, and have that new partnership with the referral you sent over. So what Steve Murray is doing um, is, you know, you get a $50 one-time bonus when your uh, referral agent contracts. And then, <clears throat> therefore, after that, we're not going to forget about you. We're going to give you a slight override that comes out of our pocket. It's a check directly issued to you from IME, so it doesn't shave anything off of your referrals commission um, or any of the perks that they, they get here at IMS is all gonna remain the same. Um, but you'll get a quarterly check from us, whether it's SPL, MIGA, Index, Life Business, whatever you can see here, that we're gonna give you a, a, you know, a, a, a nice little override for that business just for that introduction. So keep us in mind if you've got a coworker or a buddy in the industry that you think that we would be a good fit for in growing their life and annuity business, send them my way. Um, one of the things that you're gonna also love about working with IMS is our back office support. Our goal, and this is what I tell my guys that I start working with, my goal is to have you doing um, you know, having activity working with people, you know, building those relationships. Um, I don't, it doesn't make you any money by doing the busy work. It doesn't make you any money trying to figure out what the best income product is or whatnot. Um, you know, let me do that for you. 
I have over 80 carriers that I work with. So I'm always going to look at your client as though it is my personal client. I was, uh, I was an agent years ago myself. So I've walked a mile in your shoes and I know what that's like. Um, not only the case design, but you have our new business team. So instead of you waiting on the phone with a particular carrier, some of the carriers out there right now are experiencing some, you know, heavy traffic coming in through their door. So they're uh, you know, looking at a little bit of a delayed time and getting things processed. Well, our new business team will do all of that for you. We'll hold, we'll follow up with the carriers every couple of days to make sure that everything is still coming uh, and running smoothly, not waiting on anything. We'll help you with all the suitability stuff. We'll help you with expertise and coaching. I'm gonna get into Firelight here in a second, but <clears throat> literally utilize us as your back office. And when you're talking to your clients, you know, let them know, hey, let me let me get this with my back office, i.e. IMS, and um, you know, set up your second or third appointment with them right there on the spot, and we'll make sure that you're all taken care of. So when you work with us, trust me, you're gonna love the back office support. Included with the back office support, I do invite everybody to go and save this to your favorites. It's our website, uh, www.imsinc.com. And on this website, you know, let's say you're talking to a client and you need to look up, you know, um, the best income solution or term um, illustration or quote or whatnot. You have all of that access on our website. Just go ahead and get registered and let me know or any of your your IMS directors here, marketing directors here know if you'd like us to take you for a little bit of a, a tour on the website, happy to walk you through that too. On our website, we do have Firelight, one of the best e-app systems out there in the industry. Um, here, you'll see North American is on here. I don't know, Austin, are you going to cover a little bit about, or maybe you can chime in here, I know North American has a pre-suitability um, opportunity, you know, avenue as well. But from the carrier standpoint, can you maybe throw in two or three cents of how you guys view e-applications versus paper apps? Absolutely. Uh, first off, I'll cover the uh, suitability pre-check that you mentioned. Uh, that's actually a fantastic benefit that we have. I wasn't myself going to cover it, but I'm glad you brought it up because uh, we are truly case by case basis. There are certain cases that I feel like we would maybe take that another carrier wouldn't. And a lot of that is sometimes due to strict or, or you know, set guidelines that another carrier comes out and puts forward. We are truly case by case because we don't want to set a certain guideline that because of that one set of rules we have, even though 90% of the other pieces make sense, we have to reject the case, right? Um, what you can do is you can go on to our Firelight system and you can check the uh, suitability pre-application uh, box. And what you do is you fill out a form. Uh, it's basically a shortened suitability form. There's no necessary uh, signature from the client needed. You submit that. And then what will happen is, um, it will actually get reviewed by our suitability team. And within 24 to 48 hours, I will say from my experience, it's traditionally a lot faster than that. We will come back and tell you, yes, that's a case that we will approve through suitability or no, it's not. Or if it's something that we need more information on, we'll let you know. So it's a really nice benefit rather than having to go through the whole uh, process of submitting an application and later finding out after getting it signed by your client that it's something that we will not take as a carrier. Real quick process, I think if it's not a replacement, probably would take you, you know, maybe 10 to 15 minutes if you have the majority of the client's assets. If it is a replacement where you have to do a little bit of the comparison pieces to it, it may take you a little bit longer, but I think in the end, definitely worth it rather than having to, uh, you know, find out later that it's something that would be rejected. And then, as you've mentioned, Lisa, you know, Firelight's just a tremendous application. Um, for us, I've seen a Firelight application because it was an ACH. Uh, we have an ACH form that you can use. Uh, it was issued within, I think, 19 minutes. So a Firelight application, <laughs> they're just 
so much smooth. They're so smooth, right? You know, um, it, you make sure all of your stuff is put in there and, you know, there's just so many other benefits too. Uh, as a carrier too, we see a lot less NIGOs on electronic applications than we do a paper application. Oh man, absolutely. That's the best part. It, Firelight, it, you know, and if you ever want us to walk you through it, our I, IMS office is happy to do that for you. I've I've spent a lot of my time this week so far walking through um, folks through Firework Firelight. Um, but you know, the cool thing I like about it, and coming from you know being an agent myself, um, back when we used to fax applications, um, but well, the cool thing is that when you complete a certain section, like let's say you could you say it's a replacement, so then it's automatically going to highlight the sections that you need to complete for that particular replacement. Same thing if you list yourself as an entity or individual or the beneficiary as a entity or something like that, it automatically tells you and highlights what you need to answer. So there's no guessing on that part, which is how it becomes um, an app that's going to be in good order than an app that you're guessing on and whether or not you're filling out all the all the spaces. So anyway, any questions on Firelight? I'm going to keep going on, but make a side note to contact me or your IMS director, and we'd be happy to run you through it and get you going. Next. Um, your IMS, it's not just, you know, it's not just the uh, back office support, but part of us is also our creative marketing solutions. And we have uh, some of the most skilled folks that are doing this, you know, in-house. We're not, we're not contracting this stuff out. So when you call into IMS, let's say somebody's working on a website design, or maybe you're interested in a web design, and you just want some of our, you know, people to help you out with some questions or anything like that. We can do anything from A to Z, whether that's re customize or rebranding your logo business cards, social media, um, you know, uh, web design, whatever. Any questions, I've got a price sheet I can send you to give you an idea of what we offer. And then also you can use your marketing dollars for those as well. I'm Wealth Management. Love talking about these guys because they've really done quite, quite a bit for a lot of my agents. And why I talk about this, I'm going to go ahead and throw up our poll. If you'd like additional information, make sure you select yes, and I'll have one of my buddies over there give you a call. But IMS Wealth Management, this is something we added to IMS a few years ago, and it just continues to rapidly grow, even in the marketplace that we're in right now. But a couple things I want to point out. So um, if you are already securities licensed, 65 registered, or whether you're looking to get licensed or already licensed, and you want that same kind of service that you receive on IMS, um, that, that, that you would receive on IMS Wealth Management site as well. They do all the case design for you. They do the paperwork for you. You get set up with a website. They do all the, compl oh my gosh, they do all the compliance for you. That's huge in itself. So literally all you need to do is have that relationship with a client and then IMS Wealth Management will take care of everything else for you. Not kidding. It's pretty impressive. Um, folks that my agents that I've introduced over to IMS Wealth Management couldn't be happier. Um, so, you know, definitely let us know if you have any questions on that. And my buddy Duncan over there or Charles uh, Jr. will get over or get back with you. Now, what I really love about this is before I was securities licensed as an agent, I had to rely and partner with other people that were securities licensed to help my clients out. Well, what happened? They also got written on my applications for the rest of the business I really didn't need their help with. Um, IMS Wealth Management has a source to where if you are not registered and your client needs to be in the market or needs mutual funds or whatever the case is, you can refer that client and be involved with the case um, over to IMS Wealth Management. Zach there will take care of your client, but here's the kicker. If you ever decided to get registered, IMS Wealth Management is going to transfer that client back to you. Now, I don't know 
any partner in this industry that will transfer <laughs> them back to you um, after you decide to get registered. So if that doesn't tell you how Imes Wealth Management works and partnering with um, our producers here, I, you know, I think that's a powerful story and definitely something that You'll want to consider if if this is a um, if this is something that you're interested in. Just let us know. Um, creative marketing solutions, like I said, everything. Oh well, that was already covered. That slides in there twice. I'm sorry. What is going on? Okay, here we go. I'm going to close that poll and I'm going to launch our next poll here with IMS. And this is our Annuity Academy. Now, I'm really excited. We are finally, after all this COVID mess, we're finally opening our doors back up to, to have our next Life in Annuity Academy here in our office, actually, next week. So I'm super excited about that. They are limited seats. But what we do with these the two-day training here is we take the whole entire tab. So leave your wallet or pocketbook or whatever at home bring your license so you can get on a plane and then we cover the rest hotel transportation foods a drink um you know obviously the workshop in itself the whole bit if you're interested in our next academy that is going to be coming up i believe in november early november you definitely want to select yes here and i'll be sure you get that registration link we only usually have about 30 or 40 seats available per, I mean, there, I, there is literally no other IMO or FMO out there that does this. It's just IMS. We, and the, the cost to us is that partnership um, that we're going to establish with you. And the benefit to you is that you're going to walk away with tools and ideas to grow your business. And that's, that's who we want to be filling these seats with. So we're going to have, um, you'll be smooching with other, rubbing elbows with other successful producers. This is not Insurance 101, so you're going to find out about advanced concepts, um, advanced marketing tools, all sorts of goodies. You'll definitely want to come to another one if you've been to one. So answer yes if you'd like that registration link. I'll be sure to get that over to you. Thank you for answering so quickly, guys. I'm going to keep moving. And, and that's all I've got, Austin. I've got, you know, obviously we're a marketing organization. Duh, we have Facebook and LinkedIn. <laughs> so I invite everybody to go on there and uh, connect with us via social media. And with that, I am going to switch my screen over to you, Austin, if you are ready. I am ready. Thank you. Got it. Um, I want to mention real quick why Austin's getting his screen pulled up here. Um, that we do have the questions box. So uh, we probably will have a little extra time. I think we're making really good time right now. Um, feel free to answer those, Austin. I don't think you mind if I interrupt you for a, a quick question here and there. If we can't get to it for some reason, know that I will have these questions at my fingertips and I will be following up with each of you in the next 24 hours just to check and see if you have any questions. I'll be getting you the materials for this webinar as well as the recording. We are recording this webinar as well. So, but if you want to hear it from Austin himself, definitely fill that in there. Oh, we already got one. When and where is the life and annuity training? Um, when and where, that is when I send it to you. <laughs> so I'll be sure to get the annuity training over to you. Well, that's a good sign. They already want the annuity training on this, Austin. You haven't even started the presentation. Hey, there we go. I love it. That's <laughs> what I like to hear. And, you, I, and absolutely, you know, um, I think I probably have 20 to 25 minutes of material here. So, you know, that takes us to 1040, 1045. So please feel free to interrupt me with questions uh, if you do. So. Perfect. Well, I'll hand it over to you, Austin. Appreciate you uh, joining and everybody joining us today. And with that, I'll let you go. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, well, first of all, for most of you, this is probably your first time 
uh, maybe hearing me speak, I'll give you a real quick background of myself. Uh, I just real, real quick went to, I'm born and raised in Iowa, went to school at the University of Northern Iowa uh, for the sole reason I wanted to be a construction management major. Uh, right after I took my first test in that, I decided that's not for me and I switched to a business role or a business major, I should say. And right after college, I got into the annuity world, worked for another carrier for about five years. Uh, in my previous role here at North American, I've spent the last two, two and a half years as a regional sales director meeting with agents. And just as of recent, now I uh, moved into this new role as vice president, working uh, in particular with IMOs and marketers. And I'll kind of at the end of this go into a little bit of detail on the differences between our regional sales directors and then our sales vice presidents. I have a map that'll kind of help maybe visualize that for you and, and what each role does. Uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go over two different things. My first item of business is what's called our balance accumulation brochure. Uh, it's a brochure that our marketing team has put together. It's really nice and clean. It's no product material. It's all client educational or educational pieces really to help navigate that in, uh, that story of the importance of balancing out your portfolio when heading into retirement and how an indexed annuity can really help that for you as an individual. Because we all know indexed annuities or annuities in general, there's those commercials out there. Annuities are bad. You hear it on the radio ads, et cetera. So some clients can have a hard time understanding why an indexed annuity may be a good fit based off what they see what they've heard right in the general public. And then lastly, I want to cover our top selling, or right now, a new revamped income product, income solution uh, that we've made really, real competitive here. First for the balanced accumulation kit, I'll go over this real quick. Um, I want to spend the majority of the time on our benefit solutions, but it's a real good segue into product here at the end. When looking at North American as a company, uh, we're an A-plus rated carrier. So it's a company that uh, you can have full confidence in. We've been A plus rated for several years now, been around or for quite some time, been around for 130 plus years, a very strong financials. So when your clients looking at us on the, you know, on the internet, if they do some research themselves, they're going to find that we're a very strong, stable company and that shouldn't cause any concerns with them. Now, when looking at this balanced accumulation brochure, and these are brochures that you can order yourself. So if there are pieces that you like from this, the first half of this presentation, uh, reach out to, you know, whoever it may be, Lisa, whoever it may be at IMES, our regional sales directors here at North American, we can get you, um, our hands on some brochures and we can send those out to you. Um, what this really focuses on is finding that right mix within a client portfolio. How much of their assets are exposed to risk? How much are not exposed to risk? And is it a percentage that we're comfortable with, especially if we're getting up there in age and heading into retirement or already in retirement? So let's look at that story that this brochure kind of tells. And I'll tell you my version of that story. And you as an agent can obviously kind of cater it to your own story that you use with clients. But to me, it tells a story page by page throughout this brochure. So when I'm sliding through this, picture each and every one of these slides as a different page within, these brochure, within this brochure. First, we look at a snapshot of the S&P 500. And I break this down into two different segments, right? You have your right half, which is from 2009 on to 2022. And then you have your left half, which was 1997 to 2009. I always start with the last 12, 13 years. We all know what's happened within the market over the last 13 years, right? We've been on one of the long, we've been on the longest uh, bull market in history. This doesn't quite show uh, the start to 2022 like we've seen, um, but what it does show is that blip we saw in March of 2020. And in March of 2020, things rebounded so quickly that the majority of people have really forgot what it's like to experience a bear market, which what you see was which is what you see on the left hand side of this column. On the left hand side of this uh, chart, you see the first three to four years a steady growth from 1997 to 2000. Well, we all know what happened in 2000. We had the dot com bubble burst, so we see a pullback of about fifty thousand dollars, or I'm sorry, fifty percent, not fifty thousand dollars. We see a drawback of about fifty percent. Then starting there at the bottom in 2002, it goes up 
for another five years. And that's traditionally how long it takes to recover from your average bear market, about four to five years. And we see that in this chart. But then in 2007, we see the crash of 08, the housing market crash, and we see another pullback of about 57%. So the thing that I point out here is on the left-hand side of this chart, within the first 12 years from 1997 to 2009, we see two pullbacks of 50% or greater. And oh, by the way, the value of the S&P 500 at the bottom there in 09 is 677, which is actually lower than where it starts on this chart in 1996, December 31st of 1996. If you're retired within the first three years of this chart, 10 years into retirement, you've experienced two drastic decreases and can make it very, very hard to recover from that. I mean, I do see a question here. Can we get the market piece of company strength? Absolutely. Uh, we have an orderable piece for that. It walks through our history, uh, our strength and stability, our assets, et cetera. I'll so going back to the that in my follow-up too. I'll just include that with uh, the rest of the pieces I send out to everybody. Awesome. Thank you, Lisa. Mm-hmm. Going back to this S&P chart, uh, so this is just a great conversation starter because it can get your clients thinking about the importance of safety, right? We see the two drawbacks there of 49% and 57% in the first 12 years on this chart. Well, how much does a loss really impact our portfolio? And this is a story that I know many agents tell out in the field, but a lot of the times when I'm talking with agents or actually have seen them do it, they do it on a, on a legal pad, right? You get your pen and a legal pad out. And we, we tell the story of, okay, we start with $100,000 and we lose 10%. Now we're at $90,000. Well, to actually get back to even, we need to earn more than the 10% we lost. We need to earn 11.2% on 90000 to get back to $100,000. And this is just a great chart. And I always point out, the, uh, if you look on the left-hand side, it shows the percent of loss. And then if we look on the right-hand side, once we've experienced that loss, it shows how much we need to return to get back to even. So I always point out the 35% and the 40% losses on the left-hand side because your traditional bear market is about, over the course of history, anywhere between 38, 39%. So that means if we experience 40% losses, now we need 66.7% to get back to even. An important story because the general public assumes if I lose 40%, all I need is 40% to get back to even. And that's why it takes so long to get back to even is because you actually need to recoup that plus more in terms of percentages. So now that they've started thinking about the importance of safety, a lot of clients' minds run, run to the bank, right? I'm from a small town in Iowa where most of the people that I know, in terms of safety, they think of CDs or your checkings and savings account. Well, over the course of history, have CDs really outgained taxes and inflation? What this chart does here is it shows you the average CD rates over the course of the last 22 years, from, so from 2000 to 2021, and then it shows you taxes and inflation and gives you your net rate of return on the far right-hand column for each year. Interesting piece about this is the last net positive rate of return we've seen was in 2008 there, where it's at 2.25%. There's only four years of positive net or of net positive growth after taxes and inflation have been pulled away from your gains within a CD rate each and every year. And those four years are 2000, 2001, 2006, and 2008. So this is a great piece for those clients that you have with a lot of their assets in CDs um, or a lot of their assets in checkings and savings. And for whatever reason, they just can't get their mind off of putting it into something else that can create safety which then leads me into this nice chart that we have. It's a chart that looks, at, that looks at many different types of investment vehicles that you can have. And it breaks it into two different segments, your top half and your bottom half. Your top half is going to be anything that can be exposed to some sort of downside risk, bonds, variable annuities, mutual funds, stocks, et cetera. The bottom half is going to be, as you see, anything that doesn't have any sort of downside market risk whatsoever. Cash, CDs, indexed annuities, they all have no downside risk, barring any fees, of course. But if you look at it without any fees on any contracts, none of these are going to have any downside risk whatsoever. And clients are always going to have money on both sides of these charts. That's the importance of balancing out your portfolio when heading into retirement. You need some aggressive portion, some safe, 
some, you know, some portion that's safe. But what I really truly hit on, and this is the, the main thing for me, right? Bonds, variable annuities, mutual funds, and stocks. For the, for the most part, the upside potential on all of those is not the same. Stocks can provide way more upside potential than bonds can. Right. So there, there's reason to kind of look at one versus the other when you're looking at your aggressive portfolio. And I know bonds traditionally are on your safe, your safety piece of the portfolio, but they do offer some downside risk. Well, when you're looking at the bottom half of this, if everything else is equal on the downside, meaning within a fixed index annuity, cash or CDs, we cannot lose any money on all those things on the downside. If all else is equal on the downside, why not go with the option that's going to give you the most upside potential, which, which is a fixed index annuity? So it's great for those clients. You can point out here, CDs, look, downside protection, it's the exact same that a fixed index annuity can give you. I know you're guaranteed a particular rate on a CD. You can't lose money, and neither can you within a fixed index annuity. But over the course of history, index annuities have shown that they can provide far greater value and growth within an index annuity. Uh, or within your down or your safe piece of your portfolio. Uh, real quick, uh, I'll go over these last few slides really fast. What this shows in the brochure is just kind of your stair step through an index annuity and how you're locking in those gains year in and year out and how on negative years you stay flat rather than experiencing that drawback. Within these kits that we have built for this balanced accumulation, uh, we have a very nice piece that you as an agent are probably finding out yourself. I mean, a lot of this is found out on a suitability form, but what it does for you is it gives you a nice physical piece of paper that you can go through with the client and find out how much of their uh, assets are exposed to are exposed to market risk and how much are not exposed to market risk percentage wise. And if that's a percentage we're comfortable with, if you're 65 and you plan to retire within the next year, and 95% of your assets are exposed to market risk, once you do this chart, you can have that conversation with your clients stating, hey, remember when we looked at that chart of the S&P 500? We need to protect ourselves from those first 12 years on that chart rather than the last 13 years. I don't know what's going to happen the next 10 years, but what you as someone heading into retirement needs to do is protect yourself from what could potentially happen in terms of downside risk. And that's a great conversation that you can have. If you're more of an electronic person, you can go to nacriskprofile.com and you can do this same exact thing. But instead, it's on, it's on the um, computer or on the website and it does the exact same thing for you. Okay. I just want so to now pause I'm going to get right into you, real quick here, you guys. And, you know, that one thing you're going to notice with North American is that their marketing pieces are by far some of the best pieces out there in the industry. And as Austin just gave you a prime example of that, um, they're just so easy for the client to read and understand. Um, they look professional and um, you know presented by A plus rated carrier. So I will definitely be getting you guys um, the first section here that Austin just went over, but some of those are my favorite pieces. And I've sent those over to some of my agents that have a little bit of competition with maybe a, a you know, a broker or something that the, is trying to win the clients over on business. I actually sent this exact piece over to him and he won the case. So um, definitely some great tools that you have here with North America. And I just wanted to chime in and, and uh, share that thought. Awesome. Thank you. And I, I truly agree. Uh, like I said, I've, I've worked at another carrier before and our marketing team, they're constantly looking for new ideas. You know, even when they have one new idea that they just put out, they're looking for that next thing. And this balance accumulation kit has been such a great hit. Um, you know, we have a one page flyer on that S&P 500 page. Um, the uh, break even page too, we have a one page flyer rather than having to get the whole brochure. If you're interested in just one of the pages, more than likely we can get that to you. So it's, it's really awesome. And that what I love about it, it's not a product push. It's more of a story that you can use to tell and talk about the importance of safety. And then that kind of is a great segue into a particular product with downside protection that you may be mm -hmm. presenting to your client. Mm -hmm. So now I'll talk about our benefit solutions. And I know I went through that first half quick, uh, but it's because I really want to put the focal point on this here. 
And the story with right, right now that we're running with is when is 25% better than 35%? And what I mean by that, um, you'll find out on this product, we have a 25% bonus. There's other products in the industry um, that offer higher bonuses than that, 20, uh, you know, 30, 35%. I don't know, to be quite honest, I, I'm, I don't keep up with where other bonuses are um, every single day, but I know there's some out there that are 35%. But we have more in guarantees on this product that I'll hit on a little bit later that I can kind of talk about as to why we believe 25% can actually be a better guarantee than what a 35% bonus up front would provide for you. Looking at the benefit solutions 10, um, just the quick specs, it's a 10 year surrender charge schedule. So there's a 10-year surrender schedule. The issue ages are 40 through 79, and it's a single premium with a minimum of $20,000. So nothing that stands out there that's too crazy, right? You have your $20,000 minimum single premium, issue ages 40 through age 79. Now let's break it down into three different pieces. And anytime I'm looking at a product like this with an income rider and or an enhanced death benefit, I break it down into three different categories, and I truly believe that you as an agent or anyone out there could take these three categories and apply this to any product similar out there, and you can kind of clean up a story and, and tell it in a great way. And when I talk about these three categories, um, it's more so based off of the rider included. So looking at the top left, we, we talk about the design of the rider. Top right, I'll talk about the growth of the rider. And then at the bottom, I'll talk about the additional protection that the rider provides. So let's start with the design. Uh, with the design of this product, it is a built-in rider within the product that can be used for either income or an enhanced death benefit that I'll hit on a little bit later. So when, when that product is built in, it provides a single benefit base on top of your account value. So day one, you have your account value and then your benefit base as well. And on this product, we're going to allow you to take income available immediately. So on a lot of those products that give you a 35% bonus up front, they may have a 10-year wait for income. We're going to give you the 25% bonus day one and allow you to actually take income day one as well. Let's look at the growth of this. So for the growth of that rider, immediately day one, we're going to give you a 25% bonus right away up front. Each and every year, that's going to grow at 100% of any interest percentage earned. So if you have a 5% account value growth, your benefit base is going to grow by 100% as well. But you'll see right below that where it says 25% benefit base floor day one. What that essentially means is that we give you a 25% bonus day one up front. But right below that, you see 150% years 6 through 10 and 175% years 11 plus. I'll hit on this on a, on a better piece later that shows you a little bit more of a visual, but essentially what that means is in year six through 10, so think of it as after year five, we guarantee the floor of your benefit base to be at 150% of your original premium. So if you put in 100,000, we guarantee that your benefit base after year five will be at 150,000, assuming no withdrawals. So what that means is in a scenario where you get the 25% bonus up front, and let's say for five years your credit need does okay, but not enough to get you to the 150000 in your benefit base, we would true you up to that. We do that again after year 10. So after year 10, we would guarantee that your benefit base would be at 175% of your initial premium, or in that same instance, 175000 so that goes back to that same story. When is 100, When is 25% better than 35%? Well, we talked about that. Over a 10-year period on those other products with higher bonuses, that is the only guarantee you get on a lot of those. The 35% bonus up front or the 30% bonus up front. For the next 10 years, there's no guarantee. Well, on our product, technically after 10 years, we're guaranteeing you a minimum of 75% more than what you put in in your benefit base. That can be used for either income or a death benefit play. So we've talked about design and growth. Let's go down to the bottom for additional protection. We have a nursing home multiplier where we will double your lifetime income um, for a maximum of five years. So that's a pretty simple story. If you're confined to a nursing home, uh, there is a two-year wait on that. But after that period, if you're confined to a nursing home, we will double your income for a maximum of five years. After that five years is up, we will go back to your original payment that you received, and that would still be guaranteed for the rest of your life. 
The second bullet point, a rider death benefit. So on this product, you're going to have your enhanced amount on that benefit base. Well, that benefit base can be paid out over to the client over a five-year period. So if the client passes away and there's 100,000 in their account value, and let's just throw out random numbers, 120, or let's just say 125,000 in the benefit base, the beneficiary could actually take that 125,000 over a five-year period rather than the $100,000 as a lump sum. You would always have your choice. And then there's also a 100% nursing home confinement waiver starting right away in year two. Now, um, when you're looking at that benefit base, right, it grows at the same percentage that your account value is growing at. So it's important to know what indexing options we have available. So we just added some new indexes to this powered by Morgan Stanley, Fidelity, and S&P. So in this contract, we now offer 11 different options. Seven of those are volatility controlled indexes, indexing strategies that are uncapped illustrating anywhere from 3.95 to 9.39%. I'm going to really quick breeze over this uh, page, but this just shows you all of our volatility controlled strategies that we have. And what's really nice, we have a very, we have a nice variety. We have a couple S&P indexes or indexes that are powered by S&P 500 or that are powered by S&P. You'll see we have a fidelity index, which is really nice uh, because you have a lot of clients with maybe a 401k inside of Fidelity. So that's kind of a nice, easy transition if you put some of their money into a Fidelity index. Look, we're moving our money from a Fidelity 401k. We're going to move it to a North American annuity. And one of the indexing options we may choose is a Fidelity index. And then lastly, we just added a Morgan Stanley index that's more global. Uh, so you get both a domestic and global feel with all of these indexes. And here on this next page, what I'm showing you is a beautiful piece. I love it. And we have it on each and every one of our products. On the left-hand side, you're seeing all of our indexing options. Right there to the right of that, you're seeing the rates for each and every one of those indexes, whether it's a participation rate, cap, uh, monthly cap, et cetera. And then on the far right-hand side, you're going to see the average rate of return over the last 10 years, the highest ever 10-year rate of return, and then the lowest ever 10-year rate of return. So rather than having to run an illustration for each and every one of our indexes, you can look at this chart, and it's going to show you, hey, you know, the S&P low volatility daily risk control index is illustrating at 3.95% over the last 10 years. If we want a little bit more, we can look at our Morgan Stanley two-year point-to-point, which is illustrating all that, all the way down at the bottom there, 9.39%. So I'd call this my dartboard because I truly believe in the power of diversification, even within an index annuity. I say find your three darts, toss them at this, and find three random indexes that you really like the returns on and diversify diversify between those two, three, or even four different options. This page just kind of talks about our benefit-based floor. What I'm actually going to do is skip this and move to our next page that shows a hypothetical, hypothetical example of when you would see a true up in your benefit base and when you would not. So what this chart shows you, and we have a page on each and every one of these next few uh, slides that I'm going to show, it shows you initially here I'm going to actually see if I can get a, uh, a pen out here. Right away here, day one, we show your benefit-based bonus of $125,000. Now, this line that I'm highlighting, it's showing the growth within the benefit base, which you'll see there, there's about three years in a row with poor growth. So we're assuming that, you know, essentially no growth within your benefit base each year because let's just say the indexes had not performed uh, because of poor market returns. Uh, let's just say the next three years things go haywire and there's not very many returns pretty much anywhere. But what we do, we show in this chart here, because the account value and or benefit-based growth did not get you up to 150000 we true you up to 150000 in your benefit base at this point in time. Now what we're looking at here for the next five years is a situation where we see pretty consistent growth. And now that growth within your benefit base has actually outperformed the floor right here, meaning we wouldn't true you up. So that shows you how that benefit base floor works. It shows you a situation where you would see a true up in years five or after year five, and then a situation where there is no step up needed because of the growth within your benefit base. All righty. This is a quick piece, and we have a one-page flyer on this that just shows you how that doubler would work. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, hypothetical example, in contract year four, we double your income from 5000 to 10000 because you're confined to a nursing home. 
And then after those five years are up, we'd go back to the original $5,000 payment. This shows you a hypothetical example of how the five-year payout on the benefit base would work. And it just assumes an example of 150,000 in your benefit base. Therefore, we divide that by five and $30,000 would be distributed to the beneficiary over a five-year period. This is a really nice piece that we have and it's going to be shown on all of the statements that a client gets prior to turning on income. So what I love about this product is prior to turning on income, we're going to provide your clients with a sheet that says, if you turn on income within this contract year, here's what your income would be. If you wait, ne if you wait till next year, here's your guaranteed amount of income for your floor. If you wait five years out, 10 years out, 12 years out, et cetera, it's going to show you what your guaranteed income would be if you keep deferring for income. So you know three years in, let's say if I've had solid growth with that within my benefit base, when I first got my illustration, five years out, it projected my income to be $5,000, but now I'm three years in and I'm seeing, okay, I've had pretty solid growth within my benefit base. Now my guaranteed income two years from now or after a five-year deferral in the contract, let's just say it's $7,000 because I've had set, you know solid growth within my benefit base. So it's a really nice piece that's going to be provided to your client. And then lastly, um, this is the last piece uh, that I'll show product-wise, and then I'll show you our regional sales director map on this. It's a really cool story. Um, you know, I feel like the RMD piece is a story that a lot of products have, have used before, and I felt like at a you know for a time there it, it ran its course. The RMD story for those clients not really into, not really looking to uh, take any money on top of their RMDs out. But this is a really, really nice story because we have those guaranteed step ups of 150% and 175% that still do apply even after you've either taken income or are taken withdrawals of some sort from this contract. So it looks at a client age 71, uh, a female age 71, obviously starting RMDs in contract year two at age 72. On the left hand side here, and I will highlight it. On this left-hand column, what it's showing, $250,000 withdrawals, and we assume that the client, or $250,000 premium, we assume that the client passes away after the 10th year. Well, we've seen after 10 years, we've taken just under $75,000 in RMD withdrawals. Well, because of those guaranteed step-ups that we're providing, you actually still have left even with no growth whatsoever, $295,000 that can be left to your beneficiaries over a five-year period. So essentially what that means is that we take the 295,988 divided by five and your beneficiary is going to get 60, just under 60,000 paid out five times over. So in that scenario with no growth whatsoever, you put in $250,000 no growth whatsoever as a total benefit you're receiving just under just under 375 or just under $307,000 with no grow what no growth whatsoever you as the client are getting $75,000 in RMD withdrawals that you had to take out but your beneficiary gets $295,000 that they can claim now in a hypothetical example here where we see our best possible index here over 10 years now your benefit, or now you as a client have had to take 111,000 out because you're seeing higher growth, therefore leading to higher RMDs. You leave in this scenario after 10 years, $500,000 in your benefit base to your beneficiary, or essentially $100,000 times five. So in that scenario, $250,000 is now a $610,000 benefit that you've provided for yourself knowing that all I needed to do, all, I as the client, all I wanted to do was take out my RMDs. I never wanted to touch it. So I take out my RMDs because I have to, but I'm still leaving a great death benefit for my clients there or for my okay. beneficiaries. Austin, quick question here. So while we're yeah. talking about RMDs, um, what about free withdrawals? 10% free withdrawals? I've, we've got a question in the box for that. Yep, absolutely. So this one's actually 5% free withdrawals starting right in year two. Um, so that is a little bit different. Uh, you don't get your 10% free withdrawals in year one or two. This product only allows for 5% free withdrawals starting in year two. So, but they, so here's an idea. I mean, if you had a client that just wanted to take their kids to Disney or whatever, you know, 
um, and they mm -hmm. didn't necessarily need that lifetime income, we could still grow that benefit base and still keep that account value growing by just taking, maybe they just want a 5% withdraw years, you know, one and, or I'm sorry, years two through five. And then right. that benefit base and in their income would still be a lot larger than if they turned that on instead of taking a withdrawal in year two. Absolutely. And the nice thing is that 150% and the 175% guarantees still apply even if you're taking withdrawals. And one thing that I actually should mention that I forgot, so starting in year two, you have access to 5% free withdrawals. But if in any given year, so let's say in year two, I take out no money the next year it will actually stack up to 10%. Now it's always going to be a maximum of 10%, but if in any given year, once those free withdrawals become available, if you take out no free withdrawals, the next year it will actually stack up to 10%. So you can get to 10%. Um, it would just be in a sense that in the year prior, you'd have to take out none whatsoever. So kind of a little odd nuance to it, but it, it does have kind of a stacking feature to the free withdrawals up to a maximum of 10%. And then lastly, a uh, one key thing that I always love to point out. So as I mentioned, I'm a sales vice president here at North American. My job is to work with IMOs and marketers like Lisa. So a lot of the times, um, you know, you might see me at conferences or I will, you, you probably won't see me a whole lot myself, Austin Eller. What you guys will be seeing and talking to here at North American are these individuals that you're seeing on the screen. Uh, so right now, we have eight different regional sales directors, and it's broken down by regions on the map, and we have a piece on this if you guys are all interested in seeing it. The nice part about these regional sales directors is they travel about 30% of the time, so about every third or fourth week, they are out in a particular area of their region for a full week meeting with agents. So if that's ever something that you guys are interested in, getting a one-on-one -on -one with our regional sales director, that is something that you can do is you can reach out to them, see if they'll ever be in your, in your area, and they're more than happy to swing by. Um, and then I myself, a lot of the times I'm working with Lisa, marketers like herself, or going into IMOs and those uh, IMO events. So I just wanted to make sure I kind of made that clear because this is a different, uh, the regional sales director that role that we have here is a little different. There's not a ton of carriers that have that, and we really like having both an IMO focused wholesaler, as well as a regional sales director, because if you guys are going to your IMO and talking with Lisa, let's say if there's an issue, Lisa comes directly to me and I try to fix it internally. But let's say if Lisa or myself is out, there's another contact here internally with a regional sales director that can get to work on it for you too. So just another added level of support that I wanted to make sure you guys Not only that, on. Austin, but I mean, these guys are also willing to go on client appointments too with them, right? I mean, we're mm -hmm. talking about a large case or something like that. Sometimes it's nice for your clients to see, you know, the face of the carrier that, that they're looking at investing with, you know, that's, I feel like that's another powerful uh, asset that you have in working with us in North American. Yeah, and it, it becomes tricky sometimes with that because we technically, you know, those regional sales directors aren't technically able to make product recommendations inside inside of there, but definitely anytime there's questions, you know, our regional sales director can answer those questions that your client has. Technically mm -hmm. can't go in there and make a recommendation, but we can absolutely any product question that you have, that's our, you know, our job to answer those for you. Absolutely. That's all that I have. Um, kind of actually got closer to the 11 o'clock hour than I thought I would, but I didn't know if there was any other questions, Lisa. Um, Not that I see here. I am going to take this opportunity because I do want to respect everybody's time. Um, I'm going to launch our last poll here. And if you're not already contracted with North American or um, obviously, I'm going to be sending you some of the product information, but if you have, uh, you know, a, a client that you have in mind, jot that client down now, and I'll be sure to get with you, and we'll get you some illustrations. We'll talk about the case and, you know, uh, see if this would be a, a good fit or one of their other products might be a better fit. Um, they also have very good accumulation products and um, a nice product that has no fees with income options as well. So um, definitely select yes here if you would like any of that. If you want to schedule a call with 
Austin, he'd be happy to chat with you as well. I'd be happy to organize that too. Um, so with that, I'm just gonna leave this poll up for another minute. Austin, my folks are answering this question. I can't thank you enough for your time today. Your presentations are always on point, and so I appreciate that. And and um, you know, especially love that piece of just showing where you know an FIA fits in somebody's portfolio. One of my favorite pieces out there, for sure. Thank, thank you, Lisa. Um, it's been great working with you. You guys, you guys have a rock star in Lisa. I always say that, and I appreciate you guys allowing me to, you know hop on this for a little bit. So I, I can't thank you enough. And it's it's always been a pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. Well, everybody enjoy what's left of the summer. I guess we're starting into fall here. Um, I look forward to following up with all of you and answering any questions I can. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and close our poll here and send everybody off to enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Austin. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye.